going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it if you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys i'm going to show you a story i stumbled across by accident when i was uh on my phone this story right here is out of uh belmont north carolina shout out and it's involving this dude right here who's a real pos this dude's name is elijah Lurie. he's 22 years old and he's presently on the run why because this guy is charged with the following crimes attempted murder and kidnapping at 22 years old ladies and gentlemen this guy Ran up on his baby mom and her friend, I guess, at her house. He, he ambushed them at their house. After they went out for a night on, on the town, he comes back, ambushes them, gets them in the house, and acts a fool with, with this girl. Some of the stuff he did to her is kind of messed up, but all of this came because he wasn't getting enough attention that he felt as though he deserved. Man, some crazy people out here with some twisted mindsets. And the stuff they do to people that they have close attachments to in order to gain control is astonishing to me. Take a look at this story. This guy ain't been caught yet, but he should be caught soon with this type of crime. We'll get back uh, and talk about it. And now to a story you'll see only on WBTV. A first-hand account involving a night of terror for a woman in Belmont and her friend. She says the father of her children attacked and stabbed her repeatedly and held her and her friend captive for hours. Now this is the man investigators are after. Police say Elijah Lurie is armed, dangerous, and on the run tonight. He's facing a slew of charges, including attempted murder, kidnapping, and more. The woman who was stabbed multiple times told us by phone he attacked her for hours. And our Michael Warwick is live outside the Belmont Police Headquarters tonight. And, and Michael, just how is that woman doing and, and what about her friend tonight? Well, it will be a long recovery, not only physically, but emotionally. We want to warn you, you might find some of these uh, facts of this attack disturbing. And every single time he saw something he didn't like, that's when he was punching me and kicking me in the head. Returning home after a night out with a friend, a woman says the night quickly turned into a fight for her life. He actually took a knife to my throat saying he was going to kill me, and that's when my friend tried to stop him, and he threw her against the wall. Belmont police say 22-year-old Elijah Lurie assaulted and stabbed the woman because she'd ignored his phone calls. That woman, whose identity we are protecting, says Lurie is the father of her kids. She says he stabbed her four times and wouldn't let her or her friend leave the home for several hours. And he made me um, take a video voice recording on his phone telling my kids um, goodbye. And that I loved them and he made me tell them it was my fault that they didn't have a mom and dad no more. Belmont police are actively looking for Lurie, who they say should be considered dangerous. And it's possible another man who was with Lurie could be charged. Guys, you ever notice guys that try to treat women like children, act like children themselves? Or those that try to uh, get law and order in their own personal space against somebody else is one that is lacking of both. It's crazy. Guy gets upset. You ain't answering my phone call. He's so angry that she didn't answer his phone call when she was going out that he decided to beat her up, attack her, stab her up. Her and her friend in the house held hostage. I know that was hard on a friend seeing all of that stuff happening to her. He pushed the friend up against the wall. That's, that's assault right there. Then on top of this, they said he had a guy with him, so a friend of his. Think about that. What kind of man is friends with a guy that can't control his temper, not even against his kid's mom, and you sitting in there watching him do this type of stuff? What type of man hangs around with a man that act like he a boy? All it did was take you to go into a violent rage. Only thing it took for you to do that was her not to answer the phone calls when you're trying to blow a phone up wondering where she at and who she with. Big sense of self insecurity. You see it all the time. 
for some odd reason, because of the situations within himself, the problems within himself, he put it on her, and all of a sudden it's her fault, and she has to pay for his uh, insecurities up here. Can't make that make sense. Can't. Somewhere down the line in the past generations, we have lost the ability to say, okay, this is not the right thing to do, or, hey, I can just leave. I don't have to deal with this. And I said they had children together, so he's known this girl for a while. You would think that means something because he kept popping babies into her. But evidently not. There's no level of trust there. And that's the thing. A lot of times people reflect on how they relate to things in life and relationships and then put it on you as if you supposed to either think like them or you automatically do think like them and they know everything that's going on when you're not around them. It's crazy the mindset that's out here now with a lot of people. And then you see older people with this mindset too. How many of you people out there are in your 50s, 60s, hell, late 40s, and you got somebody that's so insecure as a person, you can't even understand? I'm going to tell you something. I'm 51 years old. I'll be damned if somebody asks me where I'm going, what I'm doing, and all this other stuff because they got insecurities about themselves. It's crazy. You see this every day, and it's a growing trend with a bunch of people that want relationships but are weak-minded as hell. And a lot of times, they know you ain't doing nothing, but they want to go and do these type of tactics to try to let you, scare you into not doing something when in actuality, it pushes people away from you. Don't nobody want to run around and come in the house and not know, expect what's, hap you know, what's going to happen next or just... Being with somebody and they got to call you and ask you where you at every hour on the hour. The hell out of here. Your parents don't do that. So I don't need you to be parent, parenting to me. So many of these people, man, they want to turn into uh, your guardian rather than, you know, somebody you're in a relationship with. That's the part that's scary. This is picking up to where people sometimes think this is the right thing to do which i could never understand it a lot of people are weak and got abandonment issues or issues or fears of abandonment and the very thing they do to try to stop themselves you know stop you from leaving them is what be pushing you away from them that's the thing is like some of this stuff you can't even make up then you ask them why they do it i don't know i was mad shit that ain't no excuse that'll get you out of here this guy's 22 years old. Threw his life away. He's he going he to do prison time for this because they're witnesses. You ignored my phone call, so I'm going to beat you half to death. Think about that as a man. As a man. You didn't answer the phone, so I'm deeply hurt. Get the fuck out of here. Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I often ask myself, and I still do, who is raising this type? I'll see you in the next video. Take care.